Nothing seems to be working today, so I'm going to have to use my phone to video this real quick. This is from the study plan, and it's 5.2.35. <clears throat> Remember, if any transformations is messing with your X, it does the opposite of what you would think. So this is going to go right to units, and there's my base. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> when you get ready to graph on it, these are exponential curves. So I always start by clicking that. I always pick the point zero, 01 to start because that's the standard point before you start shifting. Make sure you come down here and tell it the base, and your base is 3 over 2. So I need to do that. And then we are going to shift this horizontally. We're going to go right 2. So when we get that, it should look like this over here. We're going to check our answer, and we've got it. Okay, let's try another one real quick. <clears throat> okay, this is even a better one because we've got several transformations. Okay, we're going to always start with whatever our base is. Our base, if we did, if we ignored all these transformations, our base is 2 to the x. So we're going to put in here, this is a base 2. We're going to go four units to the left, so let me say left four units, we're going to go down two, so we're going to tell it we want to go down two, and I really want to get to the graph, but let's check this answer. I'm not going to win a high speed internet award for sure. Okay, let's graph this. Again, click on a graph anywhere. Order matters. We're going to tell it's an exponential curve. Always oh, start with the point zero 01. I don't care what your base is or what's happening. And then it pulls this up. First thing, fix your base. Your base here is base 2. So we need to do that first. Order does matter. Okay, and if there's reflections, you're going to want to do those first. There is no reflection. We're going to go down two, so that's a vertical shift of down two, so we're going to go down two, and we're going to go left four, so I'm going to go here to negative four, and that should do it, and we'll check our answer, and this should be good, look how smart we are, and we will try another one, I would like to find one with the base E, okay. This one's even better. Here we've got more transformations, okay? And all we're going to have to do is graph. Notice we have a base 2. So when I click on this to graph, again, you're going to tell it it's an exponential curve. We're going to start with the point zero, 01, always. Okay, <clears throat> now when you do this, remember you always do exponents first. Okay, order of operations. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go right two. That is a horizontal shift of right two. So I'm going to come over here. I think that went right two. It's hard to tell. I think so. Okay. And then we are going to stretch it vertically by three. can move this over. Hmm. I think that's three. I wish it would say. And then we're going to go vertically three. And that should do it. And then we're going to check our answer. And we got it. Okay, so if you don't put it in in the right order, you will miss it. Bummer snot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip to another problem. Mm, let's get one a little bit more difficult than that. How about one like that? In fact, I'll make that even the next one. 